good morning guys we are out here in the beautiful city of Cape Town and my name is Quentin and so most of you have been asking me how long will it actually take me to travel from Cape Town to Johannesburg so today guys I'll be covering that and I'm just going to show you how long is it really gonna take me from Cape Town to Johannesburg so stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe let's go Okay, so right now we are in Belleville and so we are waiting for our bus to arrive and people are not happy because they've been waiting for too long right now. Okay guys, so let's get in and see what's going on. So there's like upstairs, downstairs, and a toilet inside. Let's just let me just show you around. So this is these are seats upstairs, seats downstairs, more comfortable. And this is you can actually sleep like if you want. This is the toilet, it looks very clean and sparkling, and you also have air conditioner, which is good if you want some fresh air, you know. Um yes. So without me with so this is the charger where you can actually place your charger is um yeah you can place your charger earphones and everything so which is good so yeah everyone is seated and we are ready to to part Cape Town <laughs>
is another stop so the people outside um i'm gonna show you um so these people outside right of the yep these people outside here they're waiting to come inside so that we can go and we are still around cape town right now but uh, we're in another small town called pal which is also part of cape town so those people outside they're just waiting to get inside and we're about to leave <music>
so it's just mountains wine farms mountains wine farms and i don't know where they end it's just a lot and a lot of them so
guys if you look at these mountains you'll begin to realize that there's snow on top of these mountains i don't know if you can see from here but there's snow on top so yeah usually in winter there's like a lot of snow but uh, it's just that it just melted because it's been hot this is how it looks when it's in winter this is how this whole place looks in winter and people love to come here for skiing okay uh so guys this is our first stop from um this is our this is gonna be our first stop from cape town the, we are in lanesburg which is like a very small town um, where people can actually just go out and walk around and buy something to eat so behind me is the bus that i'm using uh, greyhound and so far it's so good it's just that uh this place looks like a desert but um, everything is good so far okay so right now we are like i think seven hours if not eight hours away from cape town and the vegetation has changed it's like we're in a desert um yeah so it's not more nice views it's late now and the sun is going down and we are still on our way um so i'll see you guys later on So right now we are at Bloemfontein, which is like one of the main cities, um, which is actually one of the capital cities of South Africa, and it's at night right now. Um, so for some of you, um, in South Africa we have like three capital cities, Cape Town, Pretoria being the main capital, and Bloemfontein, where I am right now. And um, it's like, right now I was checking the weather and it's minus five degrees and it's really cold good morning we are still on our way to Johannesburg so right now we are about to get inside Johannesburg but we're still like one hour away so um, I've been here the whole night whole afternoon and I'm really tired okay guys so we have finally arrived in Johannesburg we are just entering the city this city is very big, like really, really, really big, bigger than Cape Town times five, I guess, you know, yeah, so yeah, we're just getting inside right now, so, um, so the bus is gonna leave us straight at, um, at the Johannesburg Park Station, I guess. Finally, I've arrived at Johnny's Bank Park Station. So guys, I hope you're gonna stay tuned for part two of Johnny's Bank and I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm really tired, gotta sleep now. Bye.